Hello, 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 traders. I know I haven't made a video for some time and many people have been saying, how come I'm not making as much videos no more? But I just truly believe that I've offered enough value for free um, that many people can actually learn from and um, kind of focusing more of my attention to kind of clients or members within my organization. So I've been focusing a lot on that and actually helping people level up personally, um, which is why I haven't been focusing too much on making too many YouTube videos because as I said, I think I've actually put enough videos on here, but I just want to make another quick video in regards to another aspect of institutional trading, which is the Wyckoff theory. And all you have to do to actually see this and how you can actually learn this yourself is literally just go on Google, type Wyckoff. You can type Wyckoff schematics. I just put, you could just put Wyckoff theory in here. And then you want to scroll down and you want to find this link right here where it says school dot stock charts. Okay, you click on that. And you can learn about the Wyckoff theory. You can listen to the audio, quite a good audio. You can listen to that if you want to move. But it's obviously, for me, it's better to always read these kind of things. Okay, so you can come on here. You could understand who Wyckoff is, what he's done, and why this theory is so, is so good. And this is why the institutions do it all the time. And you'll start to notice that it happens all the time, which I'll show you shortly. But you can just come on here and start learning about it and actually enhance your mind to actually say, you know what? This is actually crazy. It goes hand in hand with institutional trading and it happens over and over and over again. Okay, so you're, you're doing about price cycles if you do. And it will, it will go through all these things. But the main thing I want to show you is these phases. Okay, so you have the accumulation events um, and then going further down yeah, here, it breaks down what all these labels mean as well. Okay, so you have the accumulation, you have the test, blah, blah, blah. And then you have the phases. Yeah, it does it again in different format and then you have the distribution so just the other way so this is now when you're looking for sales okay so it has it in that format it explains what it is and it also has it in this format okay so there's two charts quite identical but just slight differences in regards to how it's labeled out so you could come on here learn for free you could literally understand what the wake up theory is how it looks like in charts how you can actually implement it and actually go from it okay so definitely definitely have a look at this, definitely go through it and see where you can actually implement it on your own charts. Because believe me, it happens time and time again, just like institutional trading, the things that they actually, the way they move the market happens time and time again. And they do exactly the same carbon copy of every single move. You just have to understand what you're looking for. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. It just happens time and time again. Okay, so that's, that's that. So let me actually show you what this might look like on an actual live chart. And what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is actually show you on goals that I actually marked up today. Okay, so actually, let me actually show you here. So uh, as, as I've told you before, if you wanna follow my trading view, you can. Um, just simply Jedders, if you wanted to do that, you just click down here and then you click people and you can search Jedders and then you'll find me. Um, but as I told you, I always update my trade ideas. So this is gold that I uploaded yesterday. Um, we had two entries I, I posted here, I'm saying, um, I'm in the first potential retracement move for the downside before I look for maybe another move to the upside. So this is the first retracement move. As you can see here, this is my first entry. And then the second one is the higher one that I would have preferred. But like I said in the comments, you've got to trade what we see, what's in front of us. However, the game of the educated probabilities is what we're in. So the probability of it dropping from here, is going to happen. it could happen. And the probability from it dropping from here, it could happen also. Okay, so I'll take the first option. Is the closest one to me, so I could win or lose. I don't know, but it's a probability. So let's hit play. As you can see, we had a little bit of a drawdown, and then we started heading down. And now, currently, I'm still looking for sellers in this. So we've been heading down all day, and I believe it's done. I can't remember how many pips it was exactly, but yeah. So like I said, I was update my ideas. So you can see here, I said there's another potential move for the upside, and that would have given us our higher entry around the 185 area. Um, it didn't quite play out like that. And this was when I started to do the wick of fury, just to see if we do get up there, do we find distribution, um, accumulation, sorry. And this happens on every single time frame. It doesn't matter if it's, this is all you need to know. The market charts are all fractal. And what fractal means is whatever happens on one time frame will always happen in another. The charts are always looking the same. It's just on a smaller time frame. So it happens in a smaller, smaller time frame and less pips and you get the point. Everything looks the same. I could do this on a five minutes. I could do this on a one day. I could do this on a monthly. It's all gonna look the same, but just bigger time frames. It's gonna take way longer for it to happen on a um, bigger time frame compared to a smaller time frame, like the five minutes, which I've done here. So you can see I marked it up, okay? And then I'll go back to this just to show you exactly what I was looking at. 
Okay, if we scroll up. Um, so this was accumulation. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. I was looking for this diagram right here, the accumulation week off adverts. You can see PS, ST, AR, um, ST, ST in phase B, spring test, LPS, BU. Yeah, you, you get a point. Okay, so this is what I was doing. I was marking it up along the way, just seeing what's happening because I noticed that I was looking for a buy, but I just wanted to see exactly what's happening. So I kept on scaling down in the time frames, and then I noticed that accumulation is building up and then that's when I started to label it out and it just started to happen. Okay, so you can see the PSSC, yeah, literally like for like, literally like for like. So look, PSSC, PSSC, automatic rally, secondary test, okay. Secondary test in phase B, okay. We had the spring, okay, you see spring and then it has a test right here. Okay, support lines. I didn't draw the support lines on mine, but I already had that yellow area there, which I saw, as you can see, the test. Then we had, I was, this is where I started to label up, just seeing if I could follow it along. Okay, so you can see LPS, I put a question mark, SOS question mark, B slash LPS question mark, because it didn't happen yet. Okay, so you can see LPS, it happened, and then I marked it up. Okay, so let's just move to the second figure. Okay, so this is when it actually said happened. Okay. Okay, so you can see on this diagram, I was marking out, just waiting for these things because I'm expecting them. And you can see I put one, two, three, four. Okay, and then let's move to the next one. As you can see, the LPS happened, and from there, it just went boom. It just literally went up. I don't know how many pips that was. I think it was like 80 or 90 pips. It just shot up on a five minute time frame. Okay, so you can see I was literally following this thing all along. And you can see when it goes LPS, that's when you know you're having a longer stretch of the move to break out of this um, resistance area. Okay, pushes up, and then it kind of just does this, which is why on the previous one, you can see I had this little one, two, three, five pattern. Okay. And then from there, we consolidate and then move up. Okay. So you can see that was happening. Okay. Then I put another picture. Okay. So this one, two, three, four, five move, you can see, I just basically wanted to come up to the um, BU slash LPS phase and then go back up. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we didn't get the move we wanted because I saw this equal high created, so we created liquidity. So I was getting really happy. I was getting really happy and I was thinking, you know, this is actually going to play out and I'm going to buy from here. <laughs> and as soon as I hit buy, okay, as soon as I hit buy, this happens. Okay, so I went up like 10 pips and then we fell. Okay, so this was a unsuccessful one until this stage because we needed one more move to push up to the upside. And then that would have given us potentially our um, 185 move right there. So I was getting really excited following up until that point. However, I was still holding myself from here, still holding myself from this area right here. Okay, so I was good regardless. Even if I lost this trade for like 12 pips, I was still in profit by like 100 and something. Okay, so it didn't make a difference to me. And sometimes I do hedge against myself where I could be in a sell. And then I was like, if I see a buying opportunity and I said, like, you know what, I'm gonna take that because I know I'll prefer to get a sell from here. So I'll, I'll take that while holding myself. If it doesn't play out, no problem. I'll take a slight loss and then we'll keep moving down as it did. Okay, so let's just go to the live chart and actually see where we're looking at right now. So this is the chart. Okay, so this is where we're at. And as you can see, like um, I was telling you, I got a trade from here. So we're currently down 130 pips and then it's coming back to retrace right now. And then I'm looking for it to come back into this area and then risking another 25 pips to gain 150 potentially. Okay, so I've got my sell limit right there. And that's basically what I'm looking at for the next move. Now, why am I looking at that area? Is the next thing okay so i've got two gold charts as you guys probably realized um because on this chart it looks slightly different compared to this one where this one looks like our meta trader falls and this one is kind of a worldwide chart that everyone looks at so it's slightly different okay so you can see i was marking this up and yeah this is basically the entry that i got on this um as you saw in my previous thing if i just took away that line if i put that line back you'll see exactly what i was looking at so it was here okay so that was a slight drawdown we had and how much was that drawdown? Yeah, so that drawdown was 17 pips and I was willing to risk 40 pips on this. So literally halfway through my stop loss and then it just tanked. Okay, and this is where I was doing schematics. Okay, so if I went on a five minute time frame, and I'll show you what I was looking at earlier on. Okay, so yeah, this is a five minute time frame that I was looking at earlier on. Okay, so yeah, I've already taken away all the labels, but you recognize, you recognize what I was doing here. Okay, so this is what I was looking at, the, PS, the SC, automatic rally, yeah, the whole lot. And then this is where I was like, cool, let's buy. And then I bought right here and then it just tanked. Okay, so now we're coming back into this area again. And this is where we're looking to sell from. 
Okay, so a very, very, very interesting way of looking at charts. And like I said, it happens on all different time frames. Okay, so if I go to where's Euro GBP? Okay, so exactly the same thing, marked at Euro GBP. And look at it, this is on a weekly time frame. And I could do exactly the same thing. The only difference is we're looking at now distribution. And distribution is basically when you're looking for sales, it's kind of doing a schematics on selling. Okay, so you can see here distribution events. You've got a PSY, BC, AR, ST, S, SAL in phase B, UTAD, UT, LPSY. Yeah, you, you can see this for yourself. All right. So if I go to my charts now, you can see I've done exactly the same thing. So primarily support, then automatic rally, secondary test. Then we've got signs of weakness in phase B. Then it goes to buying climax and then it goes down and then it goes to up frost in phase B. Okay. So let's just do it on. Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about. There's two of them. Okay. So it had up frost in phase B and it's not always going to look picture perfect. It's not always going to look picture perfect, but once you understand the, what's happening and you can see it, then you can start trading it. And then you could look, you can see here, we've got the LPSY on here, we've got the LPSY. It starts to go down again. It makes a second LPSY and then signs of weakness, and then it goes all the way down. And you can see I've done that. So LPSY, then I needed a second LPSY. And just looking at the way I trade, I saw this happening for the second LPSY. And what does LPSY stand for? Like I said, if you're confused about anything I'm saying right now, it's all explained. Um, wait, oh, it's, it's at the top. Okay, so if you're, if you're confused about anything I'm saying right now, have I gone past it already? What the hell's going on? Okay, I don't, I'm, I don't know if I'm bugging out or something, but um, it should explain it exactly what it, oh, here we are. I don't know how I've gone past that so many times. Okay, so this is when I say LPSY, last point of supply. Okay, signs of weakness, secondary test, automatic reaction, well, or rally, you could say either way, buying climax. But yeah, you'll you, you start to study, you understand it. Okay, so signs of weakness. So if I just hit play on this, you can see what's been happening so far. And this, don't forget, this is on a weekly chart. Okay, so I wanted it to go all the way up here and then drop. But well, I believe I've updated this, I believe. Yeah, I have. I've, I wanted it to come here and then go up. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about that I always have, I always have um, updates on my thing just because trading is a reactive game. It's not say it and forget it as much as people will like. It's more of a reactive game just to see exactly what the charts are going to do. And then this is where you can actually get in. And if you guys want to follow someone really good on trading view as well, Transparent FX, he's a very good trader. Um, I spoke to him personally. He makes videos. And he is a very, very good trader. So definitely check him out if you want to. Transparent Effects, that's his trading view. Also got some YouTube channels, I believe. Uh, so feel free to follow him as well. Um, there's so much abundance in this game that I've got no reason to hate. Okay, so if he wants to pay, if he wants to charge you for whatever, and he's good and you like him, go with him. I don't mind. It's, it's, not, it's not like a thing where I'm thinking there's only so much money in the world that I have to have all of it. Feel free to follow him. He's a very good trader, very good guy, French guy. Um, so yeah. Show him some love, transparent effects. Okay, so this is what I was, I was uh, looking for on the four hour chart. Okay, so if we just go to what your GBP is doing now, I haven't actually looked at this for some time. I wonder where we are. I actually don't trade it, I mostly trade it. I only kind of send it to other people. Okay, so you can see this is where the entry I wanted. And I said, I wanted the entry from higher up here. Okay, but we actually only came to here. This was on the four hour, so I caught a sell here. And so far, and this is why I don't trade it, it's like the slowest pair ever, like literally. So we've done 85 pips in like two days, and that's like, it's like nothing. Okay, so I'm looking for it to come down to this area, and this is the big buy I was talking about. Big buy to the LPSY, so we're looking at about 572 pips. Okay, and yeah, as you can see, this is coming down right now, and as you know, Euro GDP does the opposite of GBP base pairs. So you can see the GBP base pairs are going up. Okay, didn't quite catch the entry I wanted on this one, but I managed to get in here. Um, and it's done about 130, 140 pips so far, 160. So we're going up there, but the G GBP AUD is the one I call clean. Very, 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 very clean. I was proud of this trade. Okay, so we had some imbalance right there. Okay, we had some imbalance right there. As you can see down to the T, down to the T, it literally touched. I had my um, buy limit at the top of this wick. As you can see, literally one, one time I got a call it. It didn't come into my entry here, but I took it manually. And then I saw there was this institutional candle right here. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. I was like, you know, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna take a sell. 
So I took a sell here. As you can see, like it would have been like minimal drawdown. And then we went down. So I caught 150 pips up. I still had one running. I put my stop loss into profit. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take one sell, two sells from here. And I did. And then we caught another 130, 130 pips down. And then it took out my stop loss. And I just, and then my buy limit just activated again. So now we're currently now in about 100 pip profit. Yeah, 102, 105 profit. And then I want to ride this baby all the way up to these levels here. Okay, so we've got an equal high that we need to break, take some liquidity. We need to fill the imbalance there. We need to fill imbalance here. And then we've got this tiny imbalance here. There's a gap, actually, but it's still imbalance in my eyes. So you can see why I'm looking to ride this for 500 pips. Okay, so that's basically what Wickoff is. If you haven't seen it before or heard about it, definitely check it out. And it is very, 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 very powerful. So yeah, if you want the link there, it's also there. I could put the link in the actual YouTube channel um, when I actually finish um, recording this. So definitely check this out and it'll change your trading game and take it to a whole new level. But that's it for me. Enjoy actually trading this, practicing it yourself. And like I said, it works in every time frame. You just need to understand what's actually happening in, in regards to accumulation or distribution. Okay, so definitely check this out. Try it out for yourself and happy trading.